Hey there, Cancer. Welcome to your reading for April 2019. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general reading, okay? So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you would like a look into your own personal situation, go ahead and email me. My email is in the description box below. Give me a brief synopsis of what's going on in your situation and I'll get you set up with a reading, yes? Uh, just a few announcements. First, if you would like to get an in-person reading with me, and you are here in the New York City area, you can do so either on Fridays, all day. That would be at Om Shanti Bookshop. The link to their website is in the description box below. Check out their website, give them a call, and you can pre-book a session with me there. Or you can do so on Saturdays <clears throat> from 3 p.m. to 8 p.m. at Collective here in New York City. Uh, in order to pre-book that one, just email chloe at collectivenyc.com. You can find her email address in the description box below as well. A special announcement, I will be at Awaken Fair in Terrytown, New York on April 28th of this year, 2019. And if you would like to pre-book a session with me there, either 15 or 30 minutes, you can do so using the link in the description box below. Yeah. Do you see? Do you see what I did there? Okay, excellent. <laughs> so getting to the reading. Now, I'm doing this the same way I did last month. Yes, so I'm recording it so that you and I can have a conversation face-to-face. -face. But then also, I'm starting with an oracle card to get the general theme of your month. And then we were going to go into the specific energies with the Tarot. I'm using the Golden Universal Tarot for your Tarot cards, and I'm using the Unicorn Oracle for your Oracle card, yeah? So let's just get to it, Cancer. Let's see what we've got for you. My Cancer fam. Here we go. <clears throat> Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Cancers at this time. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for April 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, Cancer. So um, in channeling the energy so far, I'm seeing a bit of orange for you, um, which can talk, speak to the, the sacral chakra. Um, which is where you will find your emotions. That's like the, the, the center of the emotional body, the center of your emotions. Um, now as a water sign, you're no stranger to emotions. But what I feel like is because this is like, uh, when I channel here, I picture your zodiac sign, like the symbol of your sign. And often I see them in colors that, um, resonate with, the your element right so you being water i'm seeing it as blue right now um but as i'm picturing it there's like this hue of orange in there so i'm feeling like and spirit is saying there's some sort of past emotional energies that you're dealing with that you possibly have been dealing with for a little bit of time um and i do feel like you are in the process of kind of emerging from that you've been doing some really deep healing cancer and you're finally coming to a point where you can um maybe start to appreciate your life again you can start to appreciate yourself again um for some of you there may be a deeper sense of self-love here which is beautiful um you might be getting excited for life again also that orange could represent like fire kind of energy, just kind of passionate energy that's coming through from the sacral chakra as well. Yeah. So I'm going to give this one more shuffle and then we're going to see what we've got for you or the theme, the theme for your month. Here we go. April 26, 2019, excuse me, for Cancer. April 2019 for Cancerians. There it is right there. All right. Your theme for the month, goddess, honor your divine feminine energy. See your inner beauty. Love every part of you. Now, 
this is definitely what I'm getting here. And what I was picking up on in the realm of the emotions, it's learning to love yourself or getting to a point where you can love yourself again. Now, if you are a male Cancerian, as in you are male in gender, you do have an inner goddess energy, okay? You have both the god and the goddess. You have both masculine and feminine energies within you. And so it's the, this message here for those of you that whether you're whether you're male in gender or even if you just resonate more with masculine energy this is speaking to your inner feminine energy and allowing that to help you cultivate ways to love yourself more okay to love every part of yourself some of you actually may even be really working on integrating your masculine and feminine energies specifically for some of you for those of you that resonate more on the masculine side of things, whether you're male or female, okay, um, you're in a process of learning to love your inner goddess or learning to get to know your inner goddess, learning to um, become familiar with your own inner femininity and helping and um, balancing that, integrating that into your daily life into your daily existence. All right, Cancer, that's that's actually a really beautiful energy. Now, for some of you also, for the opposite side of the spectrum, for those of us Cancerians, because in Eastern astrology, my moon is in Cancer, but so I do, I do, I, I often do identify with Cancerian energy and resonate with what's going on with the Cancerians. But um, for those of you or us that are more on the feminine side, that resonate more with femininity, again, whether you're masculine or feminine, this goddess energy is helping some of you love your masculine energy or bring your masculinity into balance, okay? And there are probably, uh, whether you're balancing your feminine energy or whether you're balancing your masculine energy, there is probably a hell of a lot of emotions that you have to work through in order to get these balanced because either way there are things that have been suppressed when it comes to this energy okay all righty cancer one more shuffle of the tarot here and then we're gonna get into the energies of your month all right cancer sun moon rising in venus All right, overall energy, Cancer, we've got the Nine of Pentacles, autonomy. That's beautiful. Um, some of you are, well, okay, so what I'm getting with this is um, being very independent, learning to love yourself and be with yourself. You might be spending a lot of time in solitude. Um, that is no, that, Cancerians are no stranger to that. Um you know, there are a lot of times where you just want to be in your shell. You don't really want to talk to anybody. But what I'm getting specifically is that this is um, this could be a good thing. Spirit is saying this is an integration process. So if you are feeling kind of reclusive, kind of not really wanting to spend too much time around people, that's okay. Let yourself be in that energy, Spirit is saying, because you're going through a process of integrating deeper parts of yourself that need to be integrated to ensure your success. So in a sense, this nine of pentacles energy is what you might be feeling like, but it's also potentially what you're working towards, okay? In balancing your energies here. Yep, you've got the ace of swords. There it is. You've got the knight of cups and you've got the queen of pentacles. Excellent. You could be dealing with uh, an earth sign here. Um, potentially Capricorn, which is the archetype of the... Um, the cardinal earth energy represented by the queen of pentacles it could also be a virgo because the knight i'm sorry the nine of pentacles does represent virgo energy um, but it also could be a taurus um, you could also be dealing with uh another water sign cancer pisces or scorpio potentially pisces because i do see the knight or the page of cups as a pisces um Yeah, spirit is, well, first of all, what this Knight of Cups often means, uh, or at least has been meaning lately, it's been speaking to this cosmic heart chakra awakening that we've all been really going through. Um, you, If you've been following my channel, you have been hearing me speak about this a lot. Um, but also, there, there could be someone coming forward towards you, okay? Um, 
you standing standing in your in your your singlehood, someone really could be with the ace of pentacles. I'm sorry, the ace of swords here. Someone really could be gaining some sort of clarity as to who you truly are, or maybe what you mean to them. They could really see the empress energy within you. Okay, the motherly energy within you, the goddess energy within you, within the Queen of Pentacles, they could see you as really stable, very sturdy, well manifested, very compassionate, very caring, but also hardworking, and really wanting to, um, really wanting to step up and make some sort of romantic gesture. I'm not saying that they're probably, because the, I don't think this is really anything all that serious, because in some cases you could be someone that is fairly intimidating, but there could be some flirty energy coming through here, f coming forward for you in, with this Knight of Cups. Now, that aside, because that's really just kind of an extra piece, what I'm really seeing here, I'm really picking up here is you being very self-aware, okay? You gaining some sort of clarity that's allowing you some greater autonomy, yes? And this Knight of Cups is your heart chakra opening, cleansing, and clearing, and you really stabilizing yourself within your feminine energy with this Queen of Pentacles, especially with the goddess energy that was coming through in your overall theme for the month, okay? So let's go a little bit deeper. Now, I have been, in the past, I've been saying that this was um, split up in the first half or the second half of the month, but it doesn't have to be that way, okay? Energies are fluid. Time is an illusion. So I'm really just, I'm just going to say this is the first half of your reading and the second half of your reading. It's all interconnected anyway. If you want to look at it as the first and second half of your month, or if it resonates in that way, that's great but it doesn't have to be that way, okay? So first set of surrounding energies in the first half of your reading, you've got the high priestess and spirit is saying wisdom with the high priestess here. Learning some learning some inner truths, some deeper truths about yourself, especially with this ace of swords energy that's allowing you greater autonomy, greater freedom within your life because you're cutting away all of the things that no longer serve you, cutting away all of the things that no longer resonate with you. And what the high priestess is saying about that is that a lot of these things that you may have been holding on to are were only necessary because um, you were trying to live in the world, because you were trying to survive, because it's what you were taught. It's because what society believes and preaches, and therefore people just follow along. But I do feel like you either are going through or have been... Oh my goodness, my nose is itching like crazy. You either are going through or have been going through a process of deep, deep awakening, okay? And so now you're gaining some greater art autonomy because of it. Queen... I'm sorry, the High Priestess is coupled with yeah, look, the Six of Swords, moving away from things that no longer serve you. And I do see the Six of Swords as a very healing energy. First of all, the, the number six is a healing energy, okay, um, is a healing number. It's a number of balance and harmony. But the Six of Swords specifically is about moving from rough waters to calmer waters. And this absolutely has to do with belief systems here cutting away or moving away from certain belief systems that no longer serve you and were really only serving to hold you back at this point. They may have served you in the past, but they were always kind of detrimental probably. Um, and this is wisdom that the divine feminine or the goddess energy really brings in. The, this, fe this feminine energy really feels like a very healing energy. The spirit just keeps saying autonomy. It's like, it's just, autonomy is the name of the game for you during April. Gaining that autonomy or recognizing how much of it you actually have in comparison, okay? In comparison, I guess, to what you may have thought in the past. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Cancer, we've got the Three of Swords. But this really feels like a heartbreak or, or heartbreaking energy from the past that you're moving away from here with this Six of Swords energy. And the High Priestess, you really gain some wisdom, some um, deeper wisdom, not just about yourself, but about people around you, the nature of people around you. And it's much more than just, oh, men are like this or women are like this and you got to watch out for this, that and the other thing. It's the deeper psychology psychological wisdom of 
the people around us and society and how society affects us and how, and how we've been controlled and programmed and all that stuff. That's the kind of wisdom that's coming through with this high priestess energy. And in all, in all honesty, I really feel like it's helping you heal from this three of swords energy, from this heartbreaking energy. Um, and it's helping, and, and the lessons that you learn from this three of swords, whatever that represents for you, it could be a relationship, it could be a family situation, it could be a, a love, uh, uh, um, a love situation. It could be a job that you lost, friendships that have been tumultuous, careers or or dream careers that kind of fell through. Whatever that is for you, you're learning deeper, deeper truths about it, and it's also helping you open your heart chakra with the pay, with the night. I'm sorry, the Knight of Cups, and also providing you with greater autonomy with the Nine of Pentacles because it's freeing you from illusionary belief systems. Wow, that was a lot. <laughs> Three of Swords is coupled with, hey now, the Hanged Man. Enlightenment, wisdom, okay? Look, either this is an energy that you're in right now. So either you're in this energy right now and you're, you're gaining this sort of wisdom and you are moving forward, okay? Or this is something that you're you're coming out of as you're entering into the month of April. Again, energies are fluid, okay? Time is also an illusion. So really just take this as it resonates. Either way, if you are going through a rough period right now, there is greater enlightenment. There is a change in perspective that is coming for you, okay? Your, um, yes. Oh, also, you could also be dealing with a Pisces. Uh, the... I honestly don't even know. I guess it's just conditioning or habit why I I'd say what these um what zodiac signs could be here cuz I'm not really it, it this is a collective reading and it really doesn't even matter what sign you're dealing with. It's more just about the lessons that you learn in that in those interactions with those people. So maybe I should just stop doing that altogether. Anyway, Gaining a greater perspective. This is literally what I was just saying. Gaining a different perspective here. You might feel stuck. You might feel stagnant. Some of these heartbreaking energies might have just made you, left you feeling stuck or stagnant. Um, but there is a different perspective that is possible to achieve here. And that is your end goal because that's going to help free you in some way. Okay? Your current challenge, or the, excuse me, your challenge in the first half of your reading here, whenever this happens for you and however, however it resonates for you, the challenge in the first half of your reading, you've got three of pentacles, self-mastery, okay, rebuilding. Some of you actually could um, really be looking to go into business for yourselves. Maybe some of this heartbreaking energy has been jobs or business opportunities that have fallen through and just not really panned out the way you want it. Maybe you don't want to be working for a corporation anymore or this, the current employer that you're with. Maybe you want to get in business for yourself, start your own business, be an employer to someone else. For some of you, I just got this specifically for someone out there or maybe a group of you, the experience you've experiences you've had, and I'm hearing specifically in the corporate world, again, that could be something very specific. It really could be anything. But I did hear in the corporate world, um, your experiences there have led you to want to be a business owner yourself, but change the game. Do it differently. Maybe do it with a little more honor and moral and respect for your employees. That's entirely possible, okay? That's all represented in the Three of Pentacles, because either the Three of Pentacles talks about entrepreneurship, teamwork, or, in my opinion, self-mastery, rebuilding yourself through times of change or turmoil, okay? Three of Pentacles, in your challenge in the first half of the reading, is coupled with, hey now, the Emperor. So really, some of you really could be going into business for yourselves. But the emperor is an energy of taking your power back and also taking the lead. I am, I do want to say this specifically. The emperor does represent Aries energy. And we are currently in Aries season. So it could be Aries season that is inspiring you to take some sort of action to move in a different direction that is more in alignment with you. That could be a challenge, yes. But the challenge here would be more of, I really feel like the biggest challenge at this point in the game is for you to make the decision to go in this direction and then start taking action. I think that's really what that means. 
Okay, that's excellent, Cancer. Your uh, 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 potential outcome or closing message here in the first half of your reading, you've got the Five of Swords. Conflict, competition. But the conflict and competition that's coming through in this has been a lesson, has potentially maybe even been a lesson starter, Spirit is saying. The catalyst to all of this change that is happening for you. Five of Swords is coupled with... Yep, there it is. Judgment. It really has been a catalyst towards waking up toward to something. And I really feel like... Either you've, you're entering into the month of April feeling like this, or um, some situ circumstances or situations that you're dealing with in April are leading you to want something more, to want to choose a different path, to are, are awakening you to a higher perspective, okay, are calling you towards something, leaving this combative and com competitive energy behind. And actually, the Five of Swords with Judgment is resonating right along with that specific scenario I was picking up on, where someone is wanting to, to change jobs, move in a different direction, and, and start their own business geared towards greater respect for the employees and not just the employees it's also for the um the, the clients and the customers you know that's really beautiful cancer that's really beautiful uh, for some of you this is also um striving forward in the face of some sort of competition rising above that competition okay Getting to the second half of your reading here, first set of surrounding energies, you've got, there you are, Cancer, the chariot. Really moving into your own power, bringing yourself into balance, bringing your emotions into balance with the pay, with the two sphinxes here, one dark and one light. Um, bringing the, your opposing sides, your, your sense of duality here, because we are in a third dimensional reality, bringing, those, bringing the polar opposites together and using that to propel you forward, using that to generate some sort of passion for what it is and drive for what it is you're doing, which is definitely something that I was seeing in that orange energy that I was picking up on in the beginning of the reading. And I do feel like specifically for some of you, by towards maybe like the second half of the month or towards the end of the month, you're really going to feel passionate and wanting to move forward in a specific direction, okay? The chariot is coupled with, yeah, the seven of wands. Uh, no one's really going to be able to hold you back here, Cancer, and that's really beautiful because you're feeling very quite defensive, um, but not really defensive in a negative way. This is more uh, boundaries, having boundaries, greater boundaries, um, and keeping those boundaries in, in place because I do see this as a period after you gain some sort of enlightenment that we were, or, or a change in perspective here that we were talking about in the first half of the reading. And now that you've got that change in perspective, there really isn't anything that's going to be able to hold you back because you've been through that situation already and you see differently now. Okay. Second set of surrounding energies in the second half of your reading, Cancer, we've got, woo, and there you are again the Queen of Cups. This could be another water sign, Pisces or Scorpio, but I do see, well, the Queens represent the cardinal energies. Cancer is the cardinal energy of the water signs. So um, emotionally balanced, very emotionally strong. Your intuition is probably going to be super, super high at this point, uh, maybe higher than it has been in the past. Um, I'm just seeing a very compassionate and caring energy within the Queen of Cups here for you. Emotions are in balance. Emotions are in check. That's a really beautiful energy, uh, Cancer. Queen of Cups is coupled with the Eight of Swords, though. Okay, um... The one thing I want to say with the Queen of Cups is to not let your emotions get the best of you with this Eight of Swords energy. There are some of you specifically that are that are feeling very compassionate, very loving, very caring, wanting to do something for people 
that maybe have maybe in a less fortunate state than you, but not really knowing how to do it, feeling stuck or trapped with this eight of swords. Okay. Um, but see, on the other hand, I'm seeing that you're really uh, keeping with the theme here. You have you're you're really breaking free from any sort of mental entrapment, mental prison. And if you find yourself having trouble with that throughout the month or maybe come the end of the month, um, it's your emotional balance that's going to help you stay free from this sort of mental prison. Okay, that's beautiful. Your uh, uh, your challenge in the second half of the month here you have. The Eight of Wands, swift movement, moving quickly, also communication. Communication may be a little bit of a challenge, um, but also the challenge here I really feel like is not to move too quickly. Or for some of you, the, the air is going to be so clear or the path is going to be so clear that you may not know what to do with yourself. You, there's just so much potential, so much you could do, so many different directions that you could go in that... You may not know which one to choose. Eight of Swords is coupled... I'm not Eight of Swords. Wow. Eight of Wands is coupled with the Six of Wands. Victory. So it's interesting that this is coming out in your challenge section here. Don't let your pride and your ego get in the way. Understand that, yes, you may have overcome something. You may have... Um, you may have... Uh, acquired a really great victory, but no one is vulner is invulnerable. All right. Keep in mind that there may be some people out there that may want to may not be so happy about your victory. Okay. And these wands can be seen as trying to knock you down. Don't let that happen. Stay humble, Cancer. All right. But um, the challenge here. Also could be waiting for the right period to strike, Spirit is saying. And that's also coming forward, coming through with more energies of just wanting to get moving, wanting to get going, having so many plans or goals and the air being so clear or the space being so clear that you just, you don't know which one to go to, to take on first. But I really do feel like you're going to be, be, be victorious. That's a really interesting energy to be coming through in the challenge. Okay, your closing message or potential outcome for the second half of your reading here, you've got, yes, you see, I told you, there's that hastiness, the Knight of Wands. Take it slow. Take it easy, Cancer. Okay, don't take everything on at once. And you are a cardinal energy, so you're very action-oriented when you get into the right mode. So take it easy, all right? Knight of Wands is coupled with, yeah, the Eight of Pentacles. You have to take it step by step, okay? You can't skip steps. You cannot skip steps. So instead of trying to move too fast... Work on cultivating that energy or directing that 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 hasty, that excited, um, passionate energy that's represented by the Knight of Wands here. Work on directing that into the steps, all the different steps that it takes. Okay, putting that passion and that ex uh, using that that fiery energy that's coming through and that passion that's coming through to take each and every step um, seriously and work really well on each step, okay? Use that energy to fuel you. But ultimately, this is a really great reading for you, Cancer. Congratulations to you. Um, victory is at hand. You're taking your power back. There's greater autonomy. Again, like I said, there could be someone coming forward that might want to be a little flirty with you now that they see how successful you are. But hey, if you're not in the process, if you're not trying to entertain that, then don't, you know, I mean, I wouldn't suggest being rude, but you know, whatever. <laughs> anyway, there you have it, Cancer. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that was helpful for you. Again, if you would like a look into your own personal reading go, uh, situation, go ahead and email me. The email is in the description box below. And if you would like to put any sort of 
in-person sessions with me, just check out the description box. All of the information is there. I hope you guys have a great month, and I look forward to connecting with you again for the month of May. Yeah, take care. Mwah. Bye.